Okay, so this is her medial meniscus bucketed forward. There's the remnants that we're going to sew back to, back here. And uh, we're going to drag it back into position there. Without the meniscus, so it would be really easy to just trim it here, cut this, and then you just cut it right here, and the whole thing would come out, right? And you're done, the whole case. And the patient feels better because this piece isn't torn, it isn't in here anymore. And then this articular surface on the femur and this articular surface on the tibia wear out. And when this is gone, you end up having arthritis and need a replacement. And then the other thing she has is her ACL is ruptured here, and the remaining fibers are very vertical. Uh, and this ends up with rotational instability. It really should be inserted over here. So we'll reconstruct her ACL. We'll sew the meniscus back here so it stays back there um, with the circumferential compression stitches, and she should do great. Okay, so here's her bucket handle medial meniscus tear being reduced into place. You can see it's detached from the capsule in the back. There's a remnant that's attached to the capsule, and it needs to be sewn back to that remnant right there in order for it to be stable and heal. So first, sewing the posterior horn, a stitch is placed behind the meniscus into the remnant and then through the meniscus, and it's tied down with a knot called a Revo knot. You see the tibial side's easier to visualize here. Uh, the femoral side's also, it's a circumferential stitch, so it compresses the top and bottom, femoral and tibial sides. Here's sewing uh, some of the body region of the meniscus down. It's an arthroscopic knot tire. See it cinched down tightly and then Here's probing the meniscus, the medial meniscus that was bucketed. Now it's sewn into the back of the knee with a bunch of circumferential compression stitches in a way where it can optimally heal both the femoral and tibial sides. And she also had a lateral meniscus vertical tear uh, that was likely ignored when she had her initial ACL tear. So this needed to be sewn also with uh, three circumferential compression stitches in this case. And then her previous ACL reconstruction wasn't stable, and so here's the reconstruction that I did. And this is necessary because without a good stable ACL, you're at high risk for tearing your medial meniscus, which is what happened in this case.